I want to welcome everyone to the 23rd Annual Academic Achievement Awards Program. I am Vicki Ledsworth, and I am the President of the Greater Port Huron Area Chamber of Commerce. And with me tonight to present these awards are Mr. Craig Dalkey, the Principal of Port Huron Northern High School, Mrs. Rasha Damashki, Vice President of the Board of Education, Mr. Thomas Shorkey, Superintendent, Mr. Chip Mossett, Assistant Principal of Port Huron Northern, Mr. Ron Willeen, Assistant Superintendent, and Jeffrey Herring, Board of Education. I'd also like to thank uh, tonight's single corporate sponsor, Eastern Michigan Bank, that joins the Chamber in continuing to support the best and brightest students in our area, our family, our friends, and our neighbors, and demonstrating a commitment to your future and the future of our community. After the awards presentation tonight, you are all invited to the Eastern Michigan Bank dessert reception in the cafeteria. We have desserts and, and punch and coffee, so we'll all be needing that by the time this is over. Uh, in 1984, the Port Huron Area School District and the Greater Port Huron Area Chamber of Commerce initiated a program to honor academic scholars who achieved a cumulative 3.5 grade point average or higher. The Greater Port Huron Area Chamber of Commerce, which has represented 400 businesses in our community for 90 years, recognizes your outstanding academic achievement and we look forward to the contributions that you will make in our local community. The Greater Port Huron Area Chamber of Commerce supports the exceptional students in our community because we understand the, that in today's global interconnected world economy, that the main engine of economic growth is human capital the education, skills, and creativity of people. The talented students here tonight can and will directly affect the progress and competitiveness of the world that we live in by generating, utilizing, and implementing technical change, innovation, and entrepreneurship, fueling the creation of new products, services, and whole new industries. Pursuing higher education and completing your degree should not be viewed as optional, but essential. Education is the ticket to opportunity, both for you and for the economic growth and diversity of our community. St. Clair County has prospered with a solid automotive-based economy for more than 40 years. We've had the luxury of having a large number of people in our community who, with limited education, could live the American dream. We no longer have that luxury. A critical part of turning around our economy is education. I serve on the Macomb St. Clair Workforce Development Board, and it's imperative that students continue their education in the, in the state of Michigan because we need people with degrees to fully participate in technology-based economy, and we need people trained and skilled to meet the ever-changing needs of business. To the students being honored here tonight, please become involved. Become activists for change and progress, advocates for solutions that will strengthen our quality of life, volunteer with organizations that give back to your community, and utilize your exceptional academic achievements to create a more vibrant world. After all, each one of you being honored here tonight is already a leader. Be proud of where you come from because we are so very proud of you. Thank you, Mrs. Ledsworth, for those kind words. Uh, I would also like to uh, acknowledge Brian Maxwell, who will be playing the piano this evening. So thank you, Brian. I would first like to congratulate all of you. Uh, it's been a long road for some of you to achieve this accomplishment. It's been another long road for some of you to maintain this accomplishment and and I realize for some of you it's been a breeze I understand that and I would like to say you are a shining star for Northern High School and with that I'd like to give you a round of applause And seniors, this is a proud time for not only you, but your parents. And, and this, again, would be a, a shining moment for your parents. And uh, I would like to thank all of the parents for 
the support that they've given their uh, students throughout the, their high school careers. And uh, I think that Northern is a great school and each and every year this group that graduates with the high honors of uh, academics 3.5 and better um, continues to be one of the brightest stars that, that our school has. With that, uh, I'm going to cut my remarks short. I'm very proud of you, but it is warm and, and we need to move on. <laughs> With that, Mrs. Tomaski. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank Ms. Vicki Ledsworth and the Port Huron Area Chamber of Commerce for sponsoring this event and also Eastern Michigan Bank for being a big, big sponsor. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here tonight. I have to remember to thank our board president, Mr. Jeff Stout, for being out of town and allowing me the opportunity to address this wonderful class. As you know, it is particularly special to me. I have known many of you since the first day at school. My goodness, you've really grown. Where did the years go? I am truly honored and greatly excited to be in the company of such an awesome group of young people. You've worked earnestly and managed a very complex schedule that included a multitude of extracurricular activities. You've earned the honor and recognition that comes with hard work. I am so very proud of all of you. You are, school is almost done, and you're almost done with your news point. You've turned in your last paper, you've, you're, you've written your last RAB report, and you've solved all those impossible calculus equations. Now you can relax and take a deep breath, just for a little while. As you reflect on those last four years, think of all the knowledge you've accumulated, all the friendships and bonds you've solidified, and all the maturity that comes from knowing that you've conquered it all. You each are a leader in your own right. Take those leadership qualities and develop them. Learn from people around you, from people above you, learn from people below you. Adopt a mentor and look for role models. You've had many among your teachers. Read a great deal and never stop learning. Keep your standards high and your integrity above all reproach. Never take the easy road, even if you want to get to your goal faster. Stick to the sacred morals and keep your honor intact. You will find the rewards at the end of the road a great deal more worthy. A bright future is ahead of you. Your academic achievements are the key to your future aspirations. You must all already be great scholars. I encourage you to keep your desire and zest for learning and your determination to excel. In this evolving and highly competitive world, a good education is not only desirable, but necessary. Built on what you've worked so hard to achieve, you are the future and the world is waiting to welcome you. It is your duty to strive to become the best you can be. Be a scholar, a brilliant mind, a creative artist, an advocate of justice. Have the compassion needed when confronted with suffering. Have the courage to seek solutions and alternatives. Be an unrelenting force for integrity, an uncompromising fighter on behalf of human dignity. Honor your family and your friends. Keep your spirit up, keep a spring in your step, keep a ring to your laughter, a sparkle to your smile, and keep your good humor. And celebrate the wonderful life that's ahead of you. On behalf of the Port Huron Area School Board of Education, I would like to congratulate the seniors and their parents. Next on uh, the program is Mr. Thomas Shorkey, the superintendent.
Thank you, uh, Mr. Dalkey. Uh, Rash's words were eloquent, meaningful, and I know you've done a tremendous job in the classroom, and I'm looking at the students up here with their 3.5. So often, you take it for granted how you actually got in that chair. And the reason is for the faith, the love, the support of many of the people who are sitting down in front of you tonight. One of the words that Rasha used was compassion. I just want to take a moment and tell you the story of Jake Porter. Jake Porter was a young man who was born with a genetic deficiency, very fragile physical human being, but he wanted to participate with his class. And this just occurred probably in the last two years. In Ohio, got to high school, loved sports, but he knew he could never be an athlete. Went to the football coach and said, can I be the manager? Didn't matter if it was raining, snowing, whatever occurred, from the time he was in ninth grade to the end of his 12th grade year, he never missed a practice. He was the first one there, the last one to leave. And for the last game of the year, the coach said, Jake, I want you to suit up. And I want you to wear our uniform and our pads. And what he did before the game, the coach went to the coach on the other team and said, when we get near the end of the game, I'm going to call a timeout. And I want to put this young man into a football game. We'll give him the ball, and he'll go down on one knee. And then he can say he's always been part of this, this team. So the game progressed, and it got towards the end of the game, and Jake's coach called timeout. Went out, told the referees, the other coach, said, we'll put Jake in now so he has the opportunity to touch that football, wear the school colors, and uh, live up to everything that, that he's done so far. The other coach said, okay, started to walk away, called another timeout. The opposing coach came back with the referees. He says, that's not good enough. He's going to score a touchdown. So he huddled his team up. Jake came in the game. They snapped the ball, and they gave it to Jake. Not real sure what to do with it at first. His teammates encourage him, run, Jake, run. He started to run towards the goal. Everybody on that other team started to yell, run, Jake, run. He scored that touchdown with both teams leading him into the end zone. Tears were streaming down everyone's face, especially Jake's mom. When that game was over, they said to Jake, was this really the greatest moment of your life? He says it was pretty good but it's going to get better because when I graduate, I'm going to go to college, and I'm going to be a minister, and I'm going to preach to people about giving everybody a chance. It is really great that we have our 3.5s to 4 point averages, but what you need to keep in mind as you go through life, you have some blessings with your academic and your intellectual ability that you also have to care for your fellow human being all along the way. So look for the Jake Porter as you go out into your life, into college next year, and into your career. On behalf of the school district, we're very proud to be here tonight. We are proud of your efforts. We thank your parents, grandparents, friends, and relatives for the support they've given you over the years. You make all of us proud. Thank you. At this time for the program, there'll be the presentation of for the recipients, and Mr. Chip Mossett will handle that. Okay, I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, before I announce names, though, I do have to take one time out here and thank Judy Welton. Um, Judy Welton has been the one that's put this entire event on. So again, thank you, Judy. Okay, 3.5 students, are you ready? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, if I could have you the front row, we practiced this a couple days ago, so if we could have the front row stand and step over to the edge of the carpet, and I'm going to ask the distinguished guests up on stage to take their places. Now, um, 
one of the rules of this thing is we don't hurry a whole lot because we know this is a special time for parents and you would like a picture of your child, um, your student getting this award. So we've set it up so Mr. Shorkey and Mr. Dalkey over on the edge, um, the student's going to stop with those two gentlemen and that's your opportunity for a picture. They'll pose, they'll hold their certificate, almost anything you'd like them to do within reason, um, <laughs> they will do. So, you're ready. First up, Kelsey Bays, 3.5 Academic Award. Nicholas Branch, 3.5 Academic Award. Christina Brooks, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Rachel Brooks, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Jeffrey Bruff, 3.5 Academic Award. Diane Brown, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Alicia Bouchard, 3.5 Academic Award. Jillian Can, 3.5 Academic Award. Kyle Christensen, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Robert Colgan, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient, Salutatorian. Dennis Cornwell, 3.5 Academic Award. Zachary Davis, 3.5 Academic Award. Sara Damashki, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Samuel Denemy, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Brianna Dusler, 3.5 Academic Award. Rebecca Elsner, 3.5 Academic Award. Amanda Everett, 3.5 Academic Award. Christine Friedenau, 3.5 Academic Award. Megan Friedenau, 3.5 Academic Award. Daniel Gaffney, 3.5 Academic Award. Academic Scholar Recipient, Valedictorian. Elaine Gomowski, 3.5 Academic Award. Anna Garcia, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Austin Garcia, 3.5 Academic Award. Lindsay Gittner, 
3.5 Academic Award. Paul Gleishaw, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Matthew Gordon, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Brandon Green, 3.5 Academic Award. Brandon Gutierrez, 3.5 Academic Award. William Harder, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Nathan Hearn, 3.5 Academic Award. Aaron Hickey, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Daniela Hill, 3.5 Academic Award. Kathleen Hutton, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Rachel Jamison, 3.5 Academic Award. Sandeep Jawani, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Nicole Johnson, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Julia Jowett, 3.5 Academic Award. Amy Kamer, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Rachel Kearney, 3.5 Academic Award. Elizabeth Kelly, 3.5 Academic Award. Jonathan Kleiner, 3.5 Academic Award. Benjamin Kramer, 3.5 Academic Award. Rachel Kudzia, 3.5 Academic Award. Shao Kunji, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Shayna Lavadi, 3.5 Academic Award.
Andrew Laub, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Sean Loftus, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient, Valedictorian. Nathan Lukes, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Christy Lukashevsky, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Colleen McCollum, 3.5 Academic Award. Emily Majeski, 3.5 Academic Award. Taylor Manuel, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Mitchell Martin, 3.5 Academic Award. Danielle May, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. Thank you. Raheem Merchants, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. George Moss, 3.5 Academic Award. Matthew Mullally, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient. George Knackley, 3.5 Academic Award. Carolyn Nichols, 3.5 Academic Award. Robert Noble, 3.5 Academic Award. Garrett Nordine, 3.5 Academic Award. Jonathan Ochuk, 3.5 Academic Award. Sunita Paknikar, 3.5 Academic Award. Richard Papenow, 3.5 Academic Award. Joan Patrick, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient, Valedictorian. Jenna Rashid, 3.5 Academic Award. Nicholas Reed, 3.5 Academic Award.
Diane Robb, 3.5 Academic Award. <laughs> William Rush, 3.5 Academic Award. David Slager, 3.5 Academic Award. Bradley Schneider, 3.5 Academic Award. Megan Shop, 3.5 Academic Award. Carly Schultz, 3.5 Academic Award. Brady Shagney, 3.5 Academic Award. Thomas Smith, 3.5 Academic Award. Jordan Snellenberger, 3.5 Academic Award. Kim Thomas, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient, Salutatorian, Senior Class President. Matthew Thompson, 3.5 Academic Award. Brittany Van Raphorst, 3.5 Academic Award. Justin Villa, 3.5 Academic Award. Luke Wallace, 3.5 Academic Award. Veronica Ward, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient, Valedictorian. Ashlyn Wayne, 3.5 Academic Award. Amy West, 3.5 Academic Award. Ryan West, 3.5 Academic Award. Michael Wilton, 3.5 Academic Award. Nathaniel Wine, 3.5 Academic Award, Academic Scholar Recipient.
Jessica Wooster, 3.5 Academic Award. Corey Zahner, 3.5 Academic Award. Christina Zinkel, 3.5 Academic Award. Once again, congratulations, uh, 3.5 students. Great job on a fantastic four years at Northern High School. I do want to mention too, I, we were a little conservative when we handed out the books as you came in. You may or may not have noticed. Um, but we do have books, uh, the senior books, when you look at them, the pictures are in there. It's a really nice program. If you'd like an additional copy, I think, and I'm hoping that there's some still out there. If there are not, please contact us. We will make sure that you get additional copies. Just let us know. Okay? And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, we do have refreshments and desserts brought to you by the Chamber of Commerce in the cafeteria. And I'm looking over at my boss, and I think we're ready to dismiss. So, so yes? OK, I just wanted to make sure. Um, when you're not in charge, you've got to ask a lot of questions. So. With that, again, congratulations on a great night, and I invite you all to be to the cafeteria for some desserts. <laughs>